Hello guys, it is Silver's a Beast and I'm back here to bring you another video today. In this video we're going to see how much XP Rith can give us, um, because he does give a lot of XP and we're going to see how many levels slash XP he can give us in one fight. Alright, so we got a level 47,500 Rith. Just use the health potion there because I'm OCD about my health. But anyway, we're going in, we got a Solar Trans with a plus 5757 five, attack. Elemental attack, XP plus 100, and another XP plus 100 in our Pega Circle. We also have an XP potion equipped, so we should be getting quite a lot of XP from this uh, Rift guy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're about to get started. Alright, so now we're fighting Rift. Um, so yeah, this should be fun. Um, I tried this before and I got like 20 million XP, so now I'm trying it on a slightly higher new game plus. And we will have to see uh, what I get. Hope it's good. Um, should be about seven or eight levels. That's what it usually is. And I'm actually parrying a lot more in this fight than I usually do. I'm not sure why. I don't know. Because if you uh, know me, I like to dodge a lot. And uh, a lot more than I do to parry. Uh, of course I do parry um, when I'm about to get a dodge exhausted, because if you don't know, um, one parry will replenish one bar of your dodge. Like if you can see my dodge buttons, they have like little bars in them. And um, you slowly lose those as you continue to dodge, and when they, they're empty, you get exhausted. And um, parrying replenishes one of those. So I parry to uh, replenish all my dodges so I don't even get exhausted. I kind of feel bad muting the video for you guys while I talk because um, music in this fight's awesome, but I don't know. Y'all will just have to deal with it, won't you? <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed Grant's videos. Um, he's going to be doing his Infinity Blade 1 series um, in the next day or so. No guarantees, uh, it's just uh, probably what's going to happen. That should be really cool. Um, do really like Infinity Blade One, although I only really play it when I'm um, playing multiplayer. I do like to mess around with the God King some lot. It's pretty fun to try to kill him on Blood Eleven One. And this step back. This is the easiest step back he has. Um, all his step backs are relatively easy compared to like the God King or some of the other tougher enemies, and then he has this cool like Darth Maul move right here. I would have really liked it if his lightsaber was like double sided just like Darth Maul. That would have just made this fight all the more epic. <laughs> because they're clearly stealing from Star Wars here. <laughs> I mean seriously, you cannot tell, I mean, they are not, um, they did not take any cues from Star Wars with this. Although they do have a plausible, um, story reason for this. Um, it's like, you, when you use magic in this game, it's not actually magic, it's like these teleport things are, you put one teleporter in the element that you want to transfer and you use the ring of the other teleporter and so you could throw your teleporter in a thing of fire and then you would use your ring to shoot the fire thing. So what the thing is here is you're attaching one side of the teleporter to the sun and then the other side of the teleporter to the actual blade, so it transports the sun into your blade. Which is, um, I like that they actually had a story tie-in. Um, not really a story, but like a, a plausible tie-in. As plausible as you can get with this game. Um, to actually have why they have these uh, things. And here's my fire attack gem. Let's see, XP... Uh, 22 million XP. Wow, that is a quite a bit of XP. Wow. So yeah, we're gonna get quite a lot of levels here. Yeah, mastering my shield like 50 times. So yeah, I really like to fight Rift for the music um, and for this XP. It's just insane. Just keep on leveling up. I think I'm gonna actually go for level 4,000. I'm not sure. I don't have much motivation to do Infinity Blade right now. But yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. And that is seven levels. Very nice. Master my Solar Transo X to 72. My Phoenix Star to 51. My Helio Blade to 62. My Helio Crown to 87. And my Pega Circle to 85. Very, very nice fight right there. Well, yeah, this video is just about wrapping up. Just allocating those stat points. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, but yeah, I am Silver's Beast, and I am out.